All right guys, so we're gonna talk about sciatic pain and pregnancy. Um, so Kendra here is going into her, she's in her third trimester, and if she was having some sciatic pain, this is a type of sequence that I would uh, have her follow. So um, let's say she's having sciatic pain on her left side here. So um, a lot of times what you're gonna find is some pain through the low back, the glute area, and the hamstring. So what we're gonna have Kendra do first is take her AccuBall here, the level one AccuMobility ball, and she's going to gently, so she's gonna take this ankle, put it over top of her knee, okay? And what you're gonna do is gently lean into the ball into your glute towards the side here. There we go. So we're in sort of the outer glute area and you can hunt around for some trigger points, making sure that you're not digging into the bone, okay? So we want this going into soft tissue. And what Kendra's gonna do is she's just gonna work her knee back and forth like this. You put a little bit of pressure down on the knee and then activate and pull your knee to your belly like that. Good. You can do this four, five, six times. Find a new little trigger point and move to the next. Okay? Now the second release I'm going to show you is into the hamstring. So Kendra's going to place this ball underneath her hamstring this time. And you're going to drop the leg. All right? So we're going to just do outer hamstring so you can see there. And she's going to take a second ball Okay, and she's gonna vise it, so directly over top. And the active release here is she's gonna put some downward pressure, so she has a vice pressure in the balls, squeezing her hamstring, and she's gonna take this knee, she's gonna fully extend, and then she's gonna flex her leg back. Good, and you're gonna repeat that five, six times before moving down the hamstring. You can actually move as far down the hamstring as you can, looking for those sensitive areas and doing this release. All right, now that we've done some soft tissue release of the hamstring and the glute, Kendra's now going to put some stretch on that external rotation, okay? All those external rotators in the butt, okay? So she's going to do like a pigeon stretch in the chair. She's gonna take this ankle, put it over top of her knee, and she's gonna very gently put some downward pressure there, okay? And she's gonna hold on to that 15, 20 seconds, okay? And then what I like to do is I like to have her do a little bit of an active hold after that. So she's going to on stretch and then she's going to take off some pressure and what you're going to do is press your knee down. Just there you go. And then hold that and hold that for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. That's the uh, most basic form of doing this pigeon stretch. All right. So the more advanced pigeon stretch would be um, from a standing position. Kendra's going to take her leg. Okay. And she's going to hold on to the chair. She's going to take that knee and let it rest on the chair. And she's just gonna sit down slowly there, okay? And she's gonna feel all that on stretch all through the outer glute and outer leg over here, okay? So this is just a more advanced version. You can get a little deeper stretch in through all that, that glute area, okay? Good. All right, and the last movement in our sequence after she's done a little release from the seated position with the acuball and then done some stretching, she's gonna do a little bit of uh, corrective exercise here. So what Kendra's gonna do first is a little bit of what we call cat cows um, or cat camels. So she's gonna drop her stomach to the ground and she's really gonna let her low back extend, okay? Extend, 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 good. And then she's going to round her lower back. And this focus here is not so much on the middle back. We're really focusing on rounding the lower back and then extending through. Notice she's extending her head at the same time as she's extending her low back, sticking her butt out like that. And then go ahead and round the low back, rounding the neck like that, okay? So making sure you're doing this very comfortably. This shouldn't elicit any sharp pain. You're doing this you know, very, uh, very comfortably, okay? Now, the second thing I wanted to show you is after you've done you know, a series of those cat camels, we're gonna do what are called uh, bird ducks. So Kendra here has uh, an acumobility band around her upper legs here, okay? And what she's gonna do is she's gonna extend her right leg out and her left arm out like that, okay? Um, that's the advanced version if you wanna just do the leg extension, so just extend the leg out here, just like that. And you can see there's some on tension, try not to swing the hips there, try to keep the hips neutral, good, and then switch to the other side, do the left leg, Really good, trying to keep those hips nice and level. Um, a more advanced version, she'll show you that one. She'll do the arm and the leg. So you're doing opposite arm, opposite leg. So right arm, left leg with a hold. And then you're gonna do right leg, left arm. Good, and what you're looking for is a, uh, a nice glute contraction here. So we're looking for activation 
through that whole sling pattern, right, the, of the upper limb and the opposite lower limb. Okay, so go ahead and repeat those 10 to 15 reps. Use a really nice light band so you're focusing on that glute contraction.